Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope all of this uh, works. Looks like it's working to me. All right. <laughs> all of the good discussion. Greetings to everybody from Australia, Australia, Aurelia, Australia, and everywhere else. <laughs> we are back in Entrapment. Uh, give me a UI, please. Uh, so last time when we did a stream, we actually uh, completely fixed the... Oh, hey, it's still here. Uh, we completely fixed the lobby. All of these things work now. Random arena. Uh, this is the next step. So all of the lobby functions work. Um, ready check, however, does not. Uh, the re uh, basically, the ready check is considered a separate state. So all of these things, like joining a uh, team, uh, all the, even the effects here, all that stops when you switch over to the ready check. So the ready check is state state one, I think. Uh, objective set display sidebar state. Yeah, so we're in state zero right now, and as soon as we click the ready check, we should switch over to state one. Uh, none of that happens now, but uh, I'm still pretty happy with the progress we made last time. I like, uh, of course, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the. Uh, um, logic is in the game, but actually a ton of it is in the lobby, just to make the experience pretty polished here. Oh, Suncat! Hello! Been a while. Good to see you again. So, um... Let's see if I remember these. That's the edit. Yep, there we go. Alright, so, um... Also, by the way, I think I fixed all of the things. <laughs> that we spoke about all the the notes that I took down for stream notifications that weren't working and all the stuff from last stream. So I, I think all those are working this time. So uh, if something is not working, poke me and I should fix it again. <laughs> the only thing I haven't done is put up this chat in the game view, but that's it. Uh, this is the uh, what we're looking at is the all modes code. Uh, actually, I did. Let's see. Um, this last time, which was a little helpful. Someone needs to test the subscribe animation. I totally concur. Ooh, sorry about the shaking. <laughs> uh, but we need to, I think, go into lobby one last time. Whoa! I have no idea what that did to the, st <laughs> to the stream. I accidentally locked my computer. Uh, that's what I meant to do. Hopefully that works okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, one bit. Thank you very much for that, Fabian. That's um, not across the entire screen anymore. Uh, but the minimum donation is... There is a Minecraft command plugin for now. Plus, plus, plus. Yes, I know. The, uh, um, the problem is it's... It doesn't work well with the, a dark backdrop. It looks absolutely awful. Or at least last time I looked. So, I, I I toyed around with trying to get it to work, but gave up after a while. It just wasn't worth it. All right. So, uh, function entrapment control ready check. That's probably what isn't working because that's what's supposed to do something on the ready check. So let's open that thing up and keep going. This is going to be a little shorter, by the way. It's not going to be. Whoa. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Thank you very much for the 100 bits, Jock. Uh, I guess text over text didn't work out too well. <laughs> I kind of would like the, uh, to adjust that so it actually shows the bit thing instead of the, the Mario coin, but I did not have time to mess with it too much. I've been away all this weekend. Let's see, ready check. What's this? And this is like all the old stuff. So, um, this actually looks pretty good, except Scorebird's players tag is now tag. But then we'll have to test it again next stream. Oh no! The coin is uh, the correct thing for a normal donation. But yeah. Thank you very much for the 66 bits too. The minimum donation for an actual like big notification is 100.
that's that's right. I should I should totally note that down. Uh, stream notes. Even though I kind of know. Um, bits instead of coin in animation. Cool. Wait, am I on random? No, I'm not. Okay, cool. Is the music volume okay for you guys? It's a little loud on my end, but that doesn't really mean anything to me. It's, it's a little hard to tell. Little loud, yeah. I would have guessed so. Let's maybe do that. Should be okay. Okay, so what are we actually doing here? We're adding a need arena. The general consensus seems to be this is a little bit loud, so I'll, I'll keep it at this one, and then we'll see. Uh, we're adding need arena. If we have a selected arena, which is this, it's a, a, a thing that has a score on the arena scoreboard and selected scoreboard, then we remove the need arena. So all of this stuff is, is pointless at the moment. What do we actually do? If we have the need arena thing... Oh, it's an error message. I see. Uh, so basically all of this can be replaced by execute uh, unless at e scores, e whoop, scores equals uh, arena equals uh, one or more and selected equals one or more. Right, uh, entity. See ya, Hex. Sorry about the late stream. And thank you for the two bits. Sell your. Um, this is basically what we want. Okay. And then get rid of all of this stuff. So if we have an entity that has to score arena at one or more and selected one or more, then we're not going to run this. And if we don't, then we're running um, this on everybody who's an operator, which is now scores equals giving all your money to test something. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping that there's, you know, oop. Uh, there's some form of appreciation for the things I do as well. And not just the charm of the test. Yeah, thanks for the follow. Oh yeah, it does show up. Cool. Good night, Hacks. What are my thoughts on Hytale? I, I think I answered that every single stream since that trailer came up. It looks really good. It looks really good. It remains to be seen whether they actually deliver on how it looks, because it's, it's totally a hype trailer. But, you know. Okay, score count. Okay, so this is essentially if there's an armor stand that has a score of count equals zero. Cool. And the limit doesn't matter anymore. Uh, run. Uh, if and did. Whoa! Hands on the wrong side of the keyboard. And did <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I don't expect everybody to catch out all the streams. Um, but yeah, it looks good. It looks really good. Uh, love to play it. We want this same selector. Everybody who is an operator. Needs to get the message from here to here. Hey, Spock. Hands <laughs> on the wrong side of the keyboard as if it was rebound. Not quite. Not quite that bad. <laughs> it's, no, no. Nothing ever gets that bad ever again. You just end up typing really funny things when you have your, like, fingers off to one side. Like, one key off. Um... Okay, so this is the opposite of all of the above. 
Yeah, okay. So we essentially need this. This is when we actually start the ready check. We should we should do this. Um, error conditions. That's basically you either don't have an arena selected or you um, haven't got proper teams. And then uh, start ready check. And we only do this if the there were no errors. So we have to invert those basically. Um, if there's an entity that has been selected, so we have an arena selected. If entity at P uh, team equals red, so there's at least one player on the red team. If entity at P team equals blue, run. So uh, we have an arena, we have at least one player on each team. Then we actually run the, the function to start the ready check. And this is no longer needed. Unfollowing and refollowing does not appear on the stream. That's on purpose. You typed read instead of red. I did indeed. Thank you very much. That would have sucked to find. <laughs> okay, so if I reload in game. This looks like script. It's uh, it's Minecraft commands. It's in a data pack. Uh, that I it should have given me an error message, so something did not work. Oh wait, I pressed the button. Haha, -ha, it worked. <laughs> Actually, try running your functions after making them. Okay, so each team needs at least one player, but we do have an arena selected, and there's no way to unselect arenas currently. Uh. All right. Well, um, cool. So let's move on to that start ready check function for now then, which is under lobby. And not control for some reason, but whatever. Uh, okay, set the state to one. That's still the same. Oh, this, this no longer works. That's fine. Play the anvil sound for everybody. Oh, execute as everybody. Run. Um, we need at, at, a, uh, at s as well. Found three bugs in the 1.12.2 version of the map and posted those as issues on GitHub. That's great. Uh, I think I've seen them, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, did this... Will this work? I think there was something changed. But if we... Well, that works. Hey, Chromatis. It would be cool if after a long time Minecraft commands just became its own programming language. Uh, I didn't, it's, I, it's not very well suited to it. <laughs> this is no longer correct. Um, uh, to its helmets now. Uh, scrubber play, reset tick, reset ready. Uh, set everybody's ready score to zero if they're on a team. So all this stuff is still fine. The title should be fine. The subtitle should be fine. The title Ross should also be fine. Held ready items reset, that's just fine. Um, ready check. Set, display the ready check sidebar, that's also fine. Cancel the tutorial. This needs uh, equals. Oh, come on. Equals like this. If you have a help pause score, then we teleport you back and we set your help pause to zero. That's fine. I think if you want to, if you want to really like program in Minecraft, it should be done in a different language. 
Uh, I mean, that's why mods are programmed in a different language. They're better or worse languages, but like this, this one is not well suited to develop into a programming language for a multitude of reasons. Yeah, links are forbidden. Except links to Twitch clips and links to my website and stuff like that. Uh, preload this again. Let me switch over to this. And do... Oh, right. Uh, right. Hmm. I should have set up my second computer before starting this. That's what I should have done. Uh, give me a second and let me go get grab my laptop. I'll have a nice chair stream for a bit. And sky. So well prepared. Yeah, my skew says I have been away. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this on. the Minecraft. Uh, is there a reason why links are forbidden? Essentially, uh, links are because it's like the stream chat goes on on the actual video and stuff. I'm not super keen on having links go on there, even if they get moderated. New lines in uh, titles, yeah, I guess. Come on. Please find the game. Okay, hold on. To dig out my IP. Hey, Maloma. Uh, I can't actually remember the name of it right now. I can look it up if you want to. I'm. 
okay with it. I would actually rather have something that is more like in a traditional like mesh chair or something. I've had it for I think a couple of years now and it's kind of starting to fall apart. <laughs> Five, seven, seven, oh, three. Oh, dang, I'm logged into my, to the other account, ain't I? Uh, sorry about this. Well, just to be a second. I need to log into my second account so I don't throw myself out. Why do I need a second PC for it? Because I don't want it to mess with my stream capture. Uh, because basically I have OBS capturing Minecraft already. I starting a second Minecraft. There's no uh, no reason that I would be able to tell the difference between the first one and the second one. So we just get like a mess from OBS, which I don't want. All right. Please work. Yay! Okay. So, my trusty helper, who is totally not me, has joined the game. I am on blue, apparently. So let's have him join red. Which means you now have a... I don't think it switches on its own. Windows have IDs. It goes... it matches by... Um, by title and stuff though. It depends on how you set it up. Like the default setting is match any full screen application, but I don't have them full screen, so that's not on. Uh, matching by window class is the same because it's the same version of the of the game so okay let's try it anyway how's the music volume now for you by the way that did nothing so that would indicate to me yeah wait I thought I saw state switch real quick there but maybe not it that would indicate that it's not properly parsing that function. So we'll have to look at our game log. Uh, here. Uh, and this is start ready check. This is the last one. And an option M. Oh, dang. Uh, line 9. So this needs to be game mode now. Gotcha. Okay, it still doesn't work. Look at the log again. Reload that. Um, incorrect argument from command at position 3. On line 25. Um, teleport scores. That's it. That should be it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a mess. But right here. <laughs> that worked. Cool. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but ready to check. Okay, so switch the display to ready check. Best thumbs up emoji file. What? What? Which one is that? Seems good. Interesting. 
There's a special emoji for subs, by the way. Just uh, FYI, I don't think I have any info about that anywhere. But yeah, it's uh, oh, wrong one. This one. There's a there's an, an actual sliced lime. Would you would you have guessed? All right, so let's get into what actually goes on in that uh, loop. All right, so back to the all the one that runs in all modes. And this line is what we need to copy and paste. So if the state, oh, right. If state matches one, run loop ready check. This is what we need to do now instead of the game rule setting that we had before, which is fine, I guess. It's a little annoying, but it, it works. You have to like explicitly spell all of them out. Ready check looks like this. Oh God, that's a lot of stuff. Ooh. We're tagging a bunch of people. We oh God. Oh yeah, that's the down, the countdown and stuff. All right, we don't need to run all modes anymore because we already came from there. Music's fine, good. Uh, all of these scoreboards players tag is now just tag. So let's see if I can mark these up. Oh, no, it's just one more. Okay. Remove was ready. I'm, I'm reading this Facebook URL, sliced limey tea. What? Oh yeah, because it's YT. Twitch doesn't let me subscribe? You sure that's not like an ad blocker thing or anything? By the way, if you're a Twitch Prime, if you have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, then you get a free subscription that you can just assign to a channel. So if you haven't, if you have Prime and you haven't used that, just pick a channel you like, and yeah, it's exactly one. And just uh, go to the sub button, and you'll have like use my free Twitch sub on this channel thing, which is pretty nice. I, I'm not even gonna pretend to remember what these like score ready equals one and ready equals two mean, but I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> oh right, ready equals one means I'm ready and ready equals two means I'm not ready. Why, why do my, oh, cause this is not that score. The score on screen is like a display thing, not the actual ready state. This scoreboard on here, on the, the right hand side, it was supposed to have a bunch of these. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much for that. That's still pretty fancy. <laughs> now it randomly worked. Yeah, I, last time I did something like that, it's also, it's also weirdly did that. And you found the lime emote, nice. All right, how does that? Oh, it actually shows the lime emote in in uh, on screen on stream chat nice all right we're gonna do this yeah there were a bunch of like colored dividers and stuff in there super fancy scoreboard stuff and they it broke some versions ago <laughs> i have to figure out how to do that again in a different way now all right so uh i guess this should still be okay Slot, slot numbers have been changed. The display tag should still be the same. So that should still work. Add one to tick. It's fine. This is not gonna work. Red the helmet. Okay. So we execute for everybody who has the, who has equipped the ready helmet. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I'm trying to expand on all of the things for subs and uh, and the whole stream setup and everything just to make the whole place a little more Im inviting. So hopefully it's Ha <laughs> ha 
Ah. Why did you... Hold up. What's up with you? Spam protection. Emotes. Okay, hold up. Uh, subscribers. Alright, Nightbot should be a little less of an idiot right now. Yeah, it's, uh, the extent level was moderator, not, um, not, uh, sub, and the, <laughs> the limit was far too low. Uh, I'm still tweaking that. Yeah, this is so much better than, than the command blocks were. Like, I'm working on a new project now that it's like, it's so much easier. Alright, where were we? We were in here. <clears throat> For everybody who's had the ready helmet equipped, then if you weren't already ready, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> then <clears throat> okay, this is the display thing. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> <clears throat> Jesus, my voice. All right, let's rewrite this. Uh, uh, ass. We want anybody whose tag is ready helmet and whose tag is not was ready. Uh, run. There's no reason that why this is not just at S. Whoever's ready. Okay, good. And I now only use command blocks only when I need to test small stuff. There are some few, um, some few reasons to use them. Mostly if you're selecting something like by position in the world to execute something. In it. Um, this version of entrapment will be completely empty of command blocks except inside of arenas. It might take a while, Fabian. Might just be a little slow. Um, the opposite. If you have the not ready helmet on and you don't have the tag was not not ready. Then run tell raw this whole piece of junk, but without that stuff would use that S instead. <laughs> Maloma got captured. Um, clear the those tags. Uh, no, clear the inventory of anybody who has those tags. Okay, fine. Set the ready chick some scores and stuff, that's fine. Oh, and then we count stuff. Good times. Days of linking execute commands for different tags, oh yeah. Uh, the euro sign before the amount is the only correct one. I guess if e EU R if is what you use if you if you don't have access to the sign. It's like dollars basically. It's not supposed to be after it. Uh. Uh. Okay, so the armor stance have 
a count score if they are the count score of the armor stands uh the blue and red armor stands are the number of players in each team so okay that's fine so if we just do this Scores equals count equals one or more. Oop. Oh god, slash stats. Oh no. Hey Alex and the dark pipe. Welcome to the stream. Um, run scoreboard players operation as ready. Okay, so copy the count into a field called ready. That's probably still needed. Actually, it's not. Okay, okay, hold up. What we're trying to do is check if everybody's ready, right? Which means that basically execute store score um, ready at a dang. The name is join red. Okay. Uh, type equals armor stand name equals join red so the ready score of that uh, actually the other way around um, if this is this is kind of weird but it will work <laughs> if entity at a uh, team equals red score equals ready is at least one uh, at least one does that make sense didn't we just put like ready score to two if yeah your ready score is two if you're not ready Uh, not ready helmet. Yeah, we set the ready score to... Oh, wait. Ready check. Minus one. Three. <laughs> oh. Oh, Swifter's here too. Hey. Now, I mean, I'm trying to, to make sure that everybody who's ready is... Who, who has to be ready is ready. Which is why it's a little bit tricky. We have to actually compare the amounts. Line 25. You're right. Thank you. Uh, I think it went away when I moved them about or something. Um, see Jock's third most recent message. Uh, are you talking? Yeah, you're talking about the you forgot the at thing, right? I mean, I wanna, I wanna say this is, this should be ready equals exactly one. I guess maybe we'll just re-implement this. Ready equals one. 
means ready check succeeded. Ready equals two equals what? Oh, hold up. Now we're removing one per ready. Okay, this makes sense. This makes... Let's just rewrite it. I don't think we should bother about these old weird things. Alright, so... Zero equals hasn't answered yet, one equals ready, two equals has explicitly said not ready. Yeah, exactly. Which means it doesn't make sense to test for ready is above one. Unless you're just trying to figure out have they answered or not. Which is not really a... It's not really an interesting thing to look for. <clears throat> at least not at this point. Because you're trying to figure out are we ready. But basically, uh, we want two of these. Store, score, uh, and the same thing for join blue uh, with team equals blue and ready score one. Now, if I do this, this is the thing that people don't don't realize about the new commands. If I do this without a run specifier, then it will actually return the count. Which means that this will be a count of how many players on the red team are ready, and this will be a count of how many players on the blue team are ready. Which means that now... Ready check succeeded. What does that actually do? It sets the game armor stand score of ready to be 1. Fine, so let's do that. Execute if... Score... Okay, hold up. Uh, that um, equals, oh wait, uh, ready equals the same thing again. And uh, count. So if the number of players who are ready on the red team is the same as the number of players who are on the red team, then we're good to go. And then the exact same thing for the blue team. Uh, dang. Uh, I wonder if this works. I don't think it does. <laughs> Let's back out of this. I think this sadly needs a limit equals one. Which is, like, we know there's only going to be one of those armor stands, but I think um, the system itself will require there to be two, be a limit. Um, that might actually be the case here, too. Let's just put it in everywhere. Limit equals one. Um, good. Now we have limit equals one everywhere. Maybe we can copy this. Switch it over to join blue. Join bluey. Join blue. Come on. Blue. So if both of those are true, then apparently what we need to do is this. <laughs> so if ready is set to one, then we are ready to go. But I don't see why we're doing this. Like, the the ready check doesn't fail immediately when somebody selects not ready. It just fails when the time runs out, right? Or does it just immediately fail? Because uh, you are supposed to be able to change your selection after. Does anybody who's played Entrapment recently have any idea of, like, what happens... What happens if you... Um... So 
So you have not answered ready and not ready to say run the start command unless someone who isn't ready exists. No, because uh, people may, might disconnect and reconnect. So basically that would start the game if everybody just disconnects. <laughs> Which is not what I want. You, uh, you really want to force everybody to be present and ready. All right, I'm, I think I'm just gonna redo this. This is like really, really old stuff. It's been it's been upgraded in a simple way through the versions. Oh, so this sets. Oh, I see. Six equals three hundred. That's what it's looking for. Okay, so I think it's actually setting it to to be failed if immediately when somebody says not not ready. If someone leaves during the ready check but never comes back, should it not to start the game? No, it should uh, it should time out the ready check and let you reconsider your teams. I shouldn't start the game if somebody disconnects. Mid ready check, because you started the ready check assuming that everybody's there. Okay. So basically we, we wanna we wanna figure out uh, did we fail? And we fail exactly if okay. So probably the easiest way to do this uh, uh, is to just to go score uh, here execute if um, score at a type equals what's the tick wait uh, no wait type is not wait the name is wait. Uh, and the score in the uh, uh, tick scoreboard equals 300. Whoop. Um. Oh, what, what am I doing? Uh, if and. Hold up. If score this <laughs> for the weight uh, matches, I guess, limit equals one. If somebody's unready, the ready check immediately stops. If someone doesn't do anything... In... So... The first versions of Entrapment let you choose once and it never, you couldn't change your, your vote, so to speak. Which meant that when people chose the wrong thing, they couldn't change it. It doesn't immediately stop when someone says not ready. That's how I kind of want it. So let's do that. If the score matches 300, then run scoreboard players s ooh, set. Actually. Um, one more. If there is any player with a, uh, actually, yeah, I guess. If there's any player with a score that is, wait, that's it. Hmm. Um, I guess you won't have a, uh, they might have a ready score. Damn it. Team equals not none. I can do. <laughs> uh, it's it's meant. It, it was initially that you couldn't change your thing, but then I changed it so it shouldn't stop. It should let you change until the time runs out, and only if everybody is if everybody is uh, has selected they're ready, then we immediately start because there's no reason to wait, and otherwise we immediately 
Otherwise, we wait until the time runs out and then show an error message. Um, okay, so scores uh, ready equals two. So if there's a there's a player who is on some team with a ready score of two, uh, run scoreboard players play years set. Uh, the whole game armor stand thing. All this is kind of useless now, by the way, the whole armor stand thing. I just don't want to redo it because it's all at work. <laughs> um, uh, ready to, I think. Ready chick failed because somebody was not ready, yeah. Okay, and then let's... Okay. This is someone was not ready. This is everyone was ready. And then there's a third case, which is someone didn't answer. So that's what we need to identify now, which is exactly the same thing, I guess. When we reach 300 ticks, and there's somebody who has a ready score of zero, but actually that's not entirely true either. It's pretty much unless there's somebody. <clears throat> so if we reach tick 300 and Nobody said not ready, but we haven't started the game, so apparently somebody wasn't ready, then we know that it was a timeout, so we'll set the ready score to three. Error messages. Some of this is bound to be wrong, but whatever. Um... Let's do this. If score limit equals one, match uh, ready matches two, run this. I'm pretty sure we've missed a, like an if entity somewhere here. If score, if score, if here, and did it uh, unless and did it. What if ready check starts? Someone doesn't answer and leave, and then time runs. Okay, so basically, my my theory here is that this should trigger in that case. So we have um, we're missing a ready here too. Uh, no, we're missing. Tick. All right, so the tick reaches 300. Uh, we don't have anybody who has explicitly said, I'm not ready. Then we're going to set this this score value to three. Oh, look, it's Sphinxy. Hello. Um, run, tell, run. A hey, ready check failed, not ready. And then... Um, Scores ready equals two and not ready. Not ready always like chumps. Um, didn't answer, so we just display the ones who didn't who weren't ready. Um, and then this is now a lot simpler. It just basically says if score, well, basically this whole thing, but matches three instead. Uh, here. It's three instead, timed out, waiting for. I, I guess. And this is going to say, uh, well, actually, yeah. 
this is gonna this is gonna be incredibly weird if nobody if the person has disconnected it's gonna say ready check wait it timed out waiting for and then nobody but that's kind of fine I think it's better than I the message is wrong is kind of an acceptable uh, acceptable error execute if uh, score ready matches one right yeah because everybody was ready then we set the score to one uh, wait no if it matches two or more then we enter lobby is the word fan in the fan server URL Nightbot is posting intentional? No, it's just a lucky, lucky coincidence. You get a random, randomish URL, and uh, you can regenerate to them. You re you can regenerate them. <laughs> Speaking very hard, uh, and I have uh, just like I made a couple, and then when I got that one, I was like, "Oh, that's awesome!" And I, I made sure to keep that one. Thank you for the five bits, Swingsy. Much appreciated. All right, so. Hi, this is no longer needed. So this is basically ready check failed actions, not messages only. The bits do anything, or is it just a bad thing, badge thing? What do you mean exactly with do anything? I mean for. Uh, now I have four echoes. Wow, you're just collecting them. Um, I, I don't ex I think there's a cap on how many icons you can have. Um, Uh, the bits, uh, what, what you have, when you have given bits to a channel, I think basically what it does to you is the badge, it's the uh, leaderboard thing that is all up on the top, and I don't, and the on screen, like on stream messages and stuff. <clears throat> you stole my rack. <laughs> nice. Let the bit war be wars begin. Um. <clears throat> so basically, this thing is a little bit weird. If you're in... You watched four ads for bits, but still have none. I don't know exactly how that works. If you get them immediately, or if you have to wait, or whatever. Okay. Ready check complete, but... I'm not very happy about this being the same state, to be completely honest. Enter lobby, by the way, what does that do? We're gonna have to look at this. <coughs> do look over this function later. But basically, what this should be the same thing. This should just run a thing that is um, this match is one, and then we just run, I guess, control, um, ready check complete. I guess this would be under red dude check. And then we switch over to a different state in there. That would be much better. Let's do that. So, we're actually going to have a um, countdown state. Hey, Split. 
And then we're also going to have a um, start the load the arena and start the, the countdown. And that's the thing that, whoops, see, uh, that goes under, we don't have a ready check folder. Let's create one and then that's, uh, ready check complete dot MC function. Is that what I called it before? Hold up. This thing. Ready, check, complete. Cool. And that should contain all, well, most of this junk. Who? Not this, though. Countdown sounds, loads, arena, all that junk goes away. So put that inside of here. Actually not. Most of this goes in here. <laughs> in the countdown state. Uh, but what activate and load the selected arena goes into the here. Uh, and we don't have to care about all of this stuff anymore, which is great. Uh, it just did this. Which honestly, we probably don't need it anymore either. Uh, this. Because now we're just running this thing once, so that's fine. Ready to pass preparing arenas goes here. First time? Nice. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we are going to do Google board players set at a time. Oh. I really should. I, I really should not do this. <laughs> it just can't be bothered. State um, 2. It's really bad because now I'm changing what the state numbers mean. <laughs> but if I if I change this, then I need to go through all of the functions again. Ugh. I guess we'll leave it at this. And then we'll work on this next, but we need to go back into the um, all modes and do this again. So if the state matches two, then we run the countdown function for the loop instead, which is this. Okay, so we add. All right, we okay this. So we're gonna start. Oops. Should reset the tick count and when we start this too. So in the ready check complete we go scoreboard players set um, tick to zero. Changing what the state numbers means in the stream notes. Not really. I mean, the stream notes are basically notes for things I need to do later. Basically for notifications not working or for Nightbot acting up or whatever. Uh, let's go back to countdown. Add one to the tick, then uh, if score um Actually, you know what? We, we can just locally do that change here. We don't have to... She just do this. Count down. Count down. Tick. It's kind of count up, actually. <laughs> okay. Game. Tick zero. And then... This is just game. Tick one. I mean the the here the old modes thing kind of documents what the states mean. Uh, state loop fun function. Oh god, I can't type. 
So if you just look at these, you'll see like, okay, well, the state match is zero, then we run lobby. If state, state match is one, we run ready check. If state match is two, we're on the countdown. So, I mean, it's kind of documented by the code there. What did I just do? Okay, that works. So if score, this now becomes just score game equal, uh, game, oh, come on, Matt. what was it, 70? <laughs> Could be a good thing to keep in it was 20 right come on 20 yeah match is 20. what happens if there's a player named gate yeah i mean that's the problem <laughs> in that case it would count up on that player it wouldn't really, like, it wouldn't change anything really, because it doesn't, like, address the player. You can start player, you can do this. You can do a hash to make it a fake thing, but it also hides it off of scoreboards, which I find really unhelpful. <laughs> I mean, that's this the the reason that I have the the reason that I have um, uh, the whole arm like type equals armor stand is everywhere is is exactly that. It's that I don't want the player to be named that's named Gate or team blue or whatever to join and it gets messed up but we could make it over 16 characters you can use dollar is that valid really so if I do Dollar, hello, um, ready, check, huh, and that's not valid for, sweet, today I learned, I only like half made the system, so that's good, <laughs> oh god. That's, that's a, that's not great, <laughs> but I guess we can live with that. All right, let's go with the uh, dollar game. <laughs> All right, this is, this is just easier to replicate instead of adjusting all of them. It's basically this. Five, four, three, two, one. I think it only counted down to one. I don't. It don't, doesn't count. Uh, yeah. On two hundred, it actually runs the start game. Yeah, I guess that's another like that's the part where no I don't like Notepad Plus Plus. It's it's really not that good with it's it's not it's not great with non like the coloring on different backgrounds. Uh this needs to be tick. Hold up. Let's do this. Okay. And then we are running this play. Okay, let's see. Okay. Countdown sounds. 
if it matches 100, um, then run as at A. At at S, run. And then this. And then we do that for every, for all these instead. This should work. Whoa, what happened there? Okay, whatever. On the bottom, is Unis group file selected? Sure, it will be visible, but we lose all of the other formatting. <laughs> Which is actually pretty nice. Now it's a batch file. <laughs> I should, I should, I guess I should tinker with getting command highlighting working more with this background. I could just switch it to white backdrop, but I just find like a completely white window to not work well with the stream. All right. Um... This kind of should work. But I really doubt it will. Set display sidebar. Ready. Wouldn't it be cool if there was an IDE designed for Minecraft? It would be kind of nice. Uh, that would be interesting, Jock, in case it does work properly with a dark background. Because <laughs> that's what, where it always failed. Like, I know there are those. I know there are a bunch made, but they all, like, mess up completely. Like, much worse than the black text on the blue background. Like, everything becomes unreadable. So, if, if one of them actually works with that, then, then that's fine. My other computer's gone to sleep. Alright. I guess I can check that one out, Fabian. Uh, not today, though. All right, so let's take a look at our logs, I guess. Yeah, I do want to look at that. Um, so... Notepad minus minus. I could never use just notepad. It's just... Okay, hold up. What's this thing called? It's start... No, oh, ready... Uh... I guess loop slash ready check is what I should be looking at. This thing. Line 8, position 23. Uh, this thing, line 8, all the way back up. Oh. That's this now. Okay. Cool. That sh that should be okay. Bet it isn't, but should be. Was it? Oh, I kind of sort of didn't finish this function, did I? Okay, reload this. Line 8. Expected white space to end one argument, but found trailing data at position 6, tag at A. Wait, what? 
No, uh, it's not that. It's um, MBT equals. This is what it is. Would have made more sense the other way, but whatever. That's what it is. Oh, you said it in chat. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't even see. Uh, but before we go on with that, let's look at the bottom of this because there's a bunch of like player control stuff here that I didn't. Um, remove starting. Okay, if score, the whole game thing, ready matches one. Then add starting, why though? This seems to be related more to, I guess, okay. We only do it for players who are not on the non-team, so... I, I don't quite know what's starting. So there's this one. Thank you, though. That's good. Good ice. What do we use the starting tag for? Holy smokes. Okay. Uh, I see. I see. We could just simply do this. Yeah, let's let's just move this up. Uh, so as soon as we have checked, um, as soon as we've checked people's here, people's inventory, we can. Here we're clearing and stuff, so we can basically do player control here. No, I definitely don't need all of the, the tag commands. I just do it's it's. Uh, it's more work to replace them. To rewrite everything. Um, set scores based on tags, I guess, is this. So, replace item and this is still the same, isn't it? No, because it's, it's just this. So, basically, the slot dot stuff goes away. Is it armor that head, or is it armor that helmet? No, it's still head. Okay. So that kind of, kind of, sort of should work. These should not work though, because this goes directly on the item now, right? So this would be a leather helmet with this and that. One and zero. Uh, these I don't need anymore, right? Okay. Yeah, okay, cool. That, duh, okay. Name isn't working though. Why is not working? Because the name is a dang and BT, no, Telro, Telrotex thing. Um, oop. So I kind of need to do something like this at the very least. Right? And that probably, oop, probably means we need to match. Oh, come on. 
We need to match against that name too. God. Cannot type. Or we just match against the color instead. Um, no, they're both green. I think. The this no, this is not green. This is absolutely right. Let's run it. Let's see. One is it's not. It. They're not just as uh, FF. They're not like Fulbright. I'm not sure. I I don't think. Uh Uh-huh. So this why why does this not work? Wait what invalid escape sequence. Oh, because that turned into the wrong thing. Did it used to be black? <laughs> like, the thing is, is really dark now. Is that what it used to be? But that means that's actually called not ready now, so that worked. But that probably means we need to go back up here and and switch this over. It used to be like that, yeah. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I think I stayed away from red and green because of colorblind uh, problems. So you do a green and a dark. I think that's why it's not green and red. Add italics equals false on the names. Why though? Don't mind the styling. Um. Okay, these these can just all go away now. Uh, wait, what? Not that. Okay, this. Oh, missed one apparently. Oh, team equals not none. This kind of needs to still be there, doesn't it? Oh, I did something wrong. Okay. Come on now. Ugh. <sighs> But I mean, the green and black is is pretty pretty obvious, isn't it? Especially with the names named ready and not ready. I I don't think that's a problem. Like it's always a problem, but it's not that big of a problem. <laughs> okay, so we replace all the hot bar slots. We replace the head slot. Okay, good. And then what we need to do in here, in the countdown, is we need to do clear at A. Oh. All the freaking time. As long as there's a countdown on, we clear everybody's inventory. And now, the starting tag. Okay. We give everybody instant health and weakness, that's still fine. Didn't accommodate for blind people. Oh yeah.
Oh, yeah, okay. I see. Uh, if there's an item on the ground, which is a leather helmet, or, like, an item entity, then we kill it. That makes sense. If you throw out a lighter green might look good. I think it kind of looks more neon. What is this collar even? Yeah, figure out what it is. Uh, I need a this calculator into hexadecimal. It's a dark gray, is what it is. It's a shade 20 gray. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> I think it, it when it posts depends on when like how many lines get posted and stuff. Um let's see. These two I guess all this stuff I kinda want in the countdown one as well. So while there's a countdown we still want to give you full health and weakness and stuff, because you'll still be in the lobby, so we don't want you messing with stuff. Very nice lime. Uh, I... But you, your renewal doesn't matter. If you're subbed, you're subbed until it runs out. Like you, you, everything will be as if you're still subbed until it actually does run out. Which is good, in my opinion. Uh. So that certainly doesn't work. Um. Because what? Uh, what? This makes no sense. Why is my log so short? I guess it cycled or something? <laughs> Test all the things! <laughs> uh, line 37. Um... Thank you very much. Flying trampolines. Incorrect argument uh, for command of position 14. Execute store. Um, store results. Right, where did those other things go? We had a couple here. Effect give. And this also doesn't work. This needs to be game mode equals adventure. How does making the helmet that color? Uh, it looks like this. That's the one. So it's darker gray on the interior. And the other one is this. Or is that the number I'm using actually? No, it's not. Hold up a second. What's your caller? 4373570. Four, Slightly less clear green, a little more like desaturated. Meh, I don't know. <laughs> 
All right, so these these two effect commands we copied into here, so they need to be changed here too. Exactly, William. Exactly. I don't want to use green and red because because of exactly that. And really no other colors because there's like green and blue and green and purple and whatever. Um, anyway. Reload. With the correct command prefix. Let's have a look at our log. See how broken it is this time. Uh, this is the one 47 at position 224. 47 is that line. Position 224 is over here. Run. It's, it's just, wouldn't it be fine if text just said the options? Uh, yeah, but why though? Why make something that, that ups the risk of somebody messing them up if you're colorblind when you don't have to? Because I assume that that was what you meant. Okay, so, hold up, log file, reload from disk. Fifty-two, one entity is loud, okay, one of those. Uh, here, execute if score, this needs just a limit equals one. Good. Thank you for that. This needs to be just tag. Now I think we're pretty close to having this work. It does not work. Why? Rhyme 55. It's just exactly the same problem, one line down. Good times. Still doesn't work. What in the world? Line 60. Data position 17. Is that a, oh, it's the same thing again. It's not an item, it's a, an entity. So it needs this. Cool. Which actually means I don't need this tag at all. I can just take this argument and put it here instead. It'll be fine, there. On the other hand, I don't know why I bothered, because it shouldn't be any, like, loose items here, so it could just have... Oh. There we go. That actually did work. We got ready scores of zero. This should then time out. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, okay. Good times. And this is because our enter lobby function is broken. People can throw out items. Yeah, that's the point. But I mean, they, they there shouldn't be any other items than the helmets either. So I could just kill all items. <laughs> um, let's let's go take a look at the other function, which is the lobby. No, yeah, lobby, enter lobby function, which is this. It's 
Set the state to zero. This no longer works, but it's also fine. Reset the ready check. Set the sidebar. Reset ticks. Time set. That's fine. Game roll stuff. That's also fine. This is not fine. Are you okay? Uh, distance. Um. What? Why? Why the execute? Oh, because of the distance. But this can just be execute at um, that and run the teleport of anybody who's that far away. That's fine. Set everybody's spawn point, clear all the. Yeah, fine. It's collision drills. This is fine. Set display list wins. Sure. Uh, this is now team option. I'm pretty sure. Should be okay. Um, guess we'll see it pretty quickly if it starts fading out. It doesn't. It's still spamming, so this didn't work. Uh, enter lobby. And we need the last instance of that, please. That's here. Uh, distance equals 20 would match exactly distance of 20. I think I can do something like that, yeah. It's a l Actually, this should be teleport. Just to... I don't like the aliases, but I, th this shouldn't matter either. Forgot, uh... Oh, okay, yeah, no, you can't do that in there. Um, line 16. Uh... No, not at. Positioned at. No, it's not positioned at either. It's positioned. It's just positioned, right? Yeah, it's positioned at numbers. So, okay, that's why. This should work. This does not work. Distance is less than 20? No, I want it to be more than 20. That's the whole point. It's everybody who's further away than 20 needs to get teleported back into the lobby. Um. Okay. Line 17, position 24. Spawn point. Wait, wait. Huh. Oh, come on. Go away. Team modify now, okay, yeah, that changed too, right? That wasn't actually the current problem, but it would be the next time, so. Right, but the the actual intent, it was, it was RM before, so it needs to be uh, 20 or more now, rather than 20 or less. Reload this dang thing and please work. Hey, right, that works. Okay, it's not spamming anymore. So we'll start. Whoops, see. We'll see these fade away. Perfect. Cool. 
and we're back in lobby state because these are blinking again. I know, Fabian. I know. Um, that that should work too. But I mean, this is whichever. It doesn't really matter. Both both are equivalent. We're still not on our teams, so let's do this. And this should say I'm not ready. Now it says I'm ready. Perfect. And my ready check status changes. And now this should time out saying that my companion here waiting for cup. Perfect. Is there a performance difference? No. Both would have to go through all the players in the world because it's at eight. And both will only do it once. So no, there shouldn't shouldn't be any performance difference. So okay, if instead of that I do not ready, and then we wait for it to time out. Do I get money from bets or does it just go to switch? It's a split. Um not ready uh, me. Perfect. Uh, so that works. Um, that's the whole, that's the point of bits. I don't think you can use bits on a channel that isn't affiliated. Uh, let's see. Am I actually in the game still? Yeah, I am. Cool. So, uh, Tranquility Village. Oh, there's, oh, there's one more pretty dang important part. Uh, and we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go flying for this one. Um, uh, teleport, well, I guess just me. Um, actually like that or something. Over here. Good times. Um, these. These are the ones. Yeah. What's... Why is there a random chest up here? It probably needs to be there. <laughs> It's probably an actual comparison with that one chest somewhere. All right, so these are what loads the selected arena. We could encode all of this. This is basically just, uh, yeah, it just sets the next one to run next tick. If we had schedule, we could Nintendo say, well, like, they don't want people live-streaming games. Uh, no, uh, they have very strict monetization policies, is what they have. So they've kind of completely blocked off YouTube. I don't know about live-streaming, though. Okay, so these are all broken anyway, so that's good. <laughs> Should probably just encode this into a function instead now, to be completely honest. Which will be a bunch of work, but that's fine. Thought they were disbanding the creator program? Really? I mean, I'd be all for that. That would be great. Okay, so in here, in the countdown thing, we already have a tick thing. So let's... Okay. Down here, this is uh, player control and... Control. Arena loading. So the bottom two are just like a, a delay thing. Let's just copy this one. Lovely piece of junk. 
So basically what we want is the same as up here. We want an execute if a tick thing. Um, this one is essentially if tick matches one. And then it's every third tick. So we clone a block and then we set a redstone block. And this... Yeah. Dang. Dang it! Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We're, we're getting there. We need to we need to change that whole thing out. Um, because that that is... This is actually not... This is... this. We need to do something better than this. Um, because this needs to be at... This needs to be actually as that entity it's not crap um we need okay uh ass at e type equals armor then the um scores equals um, arena equals something and selected equals above one. That, um, at, at, s. Actually, you can just run at, because this is just going to be one. So that's fine. Um, run. And then that. Okay. You forgot to change the item kill command in the countdown function. That I probably did. Okay, so we'll just grab this thing, which we know works, and we will uh, copy that in here. Just do that. Good. Good times. <laughs> yeah that is a strange thing to do at least nowadays when when you can comment things all right anyway we should we should leave these comments in Actually, dang, this runs from a different place too. So we'll need to we'll need to move this to a separate function. Let's paste this into another thing. Uh, let's put that into loop as um, load arena dot mc function. And let's actually Whatever. What happens if we try to tell it that this is like Python or something? This is totally a Perl file. No. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll go with this. <laughs> um... We'll have to live with the fact that it, it runs off of this dollar game tick thing. Uh, fun- oh, come on. Function entrapment loop slash load arena. 
I'll do. So in here, we clone the structure block and then we set a redstone block. And basically what it's doing is it's taking these structure blocks, this chunk of structure blocks, and it's cloning them into one of the arenas, setting a redstone block right next to it. FSR message doesn't show up on stream. I'm not sure what you're talking about right now. All right, these two are done. This is just basically a delay of two ticks. One, two, three. So, and then this clones it into the other arena and runs the same thing for some reason. Okay, but which message? Uh, um, these are just different coordinates here. So, this would be if the tick matches four. And on these other coordinates, which are instead of minus 20, minus 59 is 21. And then set a redstone block underneath it. All right. Huh. This makes sense. Two, twenty one, two, three. Yep. Okay, cool. And this is twenty one, two, 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 one. Cool. It's going to be annoying to do this, but it, once we're done, like it will be reusable or work. Clone, uh, right. Clone one zero zero structure block. So that's step one in the X direction. They are, they are three long in Z and two long in X. Cause the arenas were created a little before Actually, you think you can see it over here. Here, you can actually see the split. So, entrapment arenas are kind of awkwardly just above the size of uh, structure blocks, <laughs> which is because the the map existed before structure blocks existed. All right, let's just keep going through this. Let's slug through them. It's a little late, so I'm going to have to end this pretty soon. But we can at least go through and get the arenas to copy. That would be nice. Okay, so... Uh, basically, we want the same... Okay. We're going to want the same stuff. But these are supposed to be 7. And these are supposed to be 10. And then the clones are going to be different. So. Putting one inside of Slice Lamp is because it's the uh, emote. And that's controlled by Twitch. I, I can't. I'm not allowed to change it. it. It just. It's called Sliced One Lime because it's the level one subscription emote. It's, it won't allow me to do anything about it. Minus 27. Sliced the one lime. But it's because it's not a colon, right? It has to be colon sliced one lime colon. But it still auto completes it. Uh. 
I have, I have no idea why it's why it's split that way. Three. Oh, so it is the bare word sliced one line, but it only shows up as a line if you're a sub. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh. You are not supposed to have lurks. <laughs> I know you're a patron. Yeah, I know, Fabian. I was already uh, sw switching that. <laughs> okay. Wait, these are the ones I've already done. One zero zero. Fifty three two two three one. Yeah, okay. All good, this is done. Go away you. And now it's zero zero one. So just copy paste this. Actually should copy paste these. These should be 13, this should be 16, <laughs> and these are new clone commands, copy paste this, I really hope that the other part of this is correct now because otherwise I'm making like a million commands that are all wrong. 33. Int cannot be cast to boolean. What? It's 21. Oh, yeah, this is the same, but with 33 on the end. Oh, and this is supposed to have a 1 here. I mean, normally, if you cast it into a boolean, you get true if it's not zero, and false if it's zero. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Okay. Which is this? This is one zero one. So that's at 19 and 22. Color true. I would assume that becomes color one. <laughs> Whichever that is. Actually, probably different, but depending on which version you're in. Because all the colors get turned upside down. One or not one. I know of no programming language that doesn't, that interprets one as false. <laughs> Basically because that's not how CPUs work. So I think that becomes orange in 113 and not orange in 112. Or maybe 111. Uh, essentially I'm saying that probably sh probably inverted, that probably switched when the world flattening happened. Not sure, but that's what a, that's a theory. Is 
this correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. 33, 33. That's, that's not right at all. I feel like I messed a couple of these up now. Yeah, I have. Because these are, these need to be the same. It's like impossible to read these commands and see if they're right or not. This one is also wrong. These ones are the same, it's fine. Okay, now we should be back up correct. That's 101. Let's actually test that. If we just take this whole clone command and slot that in here, nothing should change. Correct. Then we're doing the right things. Zero, zero, 002. Good times. Maintaining focus through something like this is one of the hardest things about doing something like this, especially when there's like chat and stuff to pay attention to. Because, like, this is like brutally still orange okay maybe it was the wall colors that switched around minus 59 65 this doesn't make sense oh yeah it does it, it does why yeah, okay. Yes, it does. I'm just being a little bit of an idiot. Um, cool. Let's grab this entire clone command, put it in here. 21. 65 and these need to be not 19 and 22 but 25 and 28 basically we're loading a structure block every three ticks which may or may not be too quickly Okay. 102. Wait, what? No, this uninitialized. <laughs> yeah. In C, uh, any non zero value is definitely true. Okay, this is tick 31, and this is tick 34. Um, this, oh, come on. Clone command goes in here. Cool. This needs to match, so it's minus 27 and 65. Done. And then this clone command 
I'll stop it. <laughs> Alright, chances that I'm doing all of this correctly are virtually zero. <laughs> This is my feeling at the moment. Oh, the good part about this, though, is we can... I guess that doesn't matter. It appears to... Yeah, okay, wait. Yeah, these are the bottom parts. Alright, good times. So, this is zero... One, zero. So we're halfway through. <laughs> it's just forever. And 40. So we're two seconds into the load process. And we're loading the bottom half. Or, no, the upper half. This is minus 59 and 254. And one, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, where was I? Here. Uh, 21, 2, 5, 4, 1. One, one, zero. At tick, 43. And... 46. Twenty seven, same thing, okay. Sorry if this is ever so slightly tedious. I just need to really make sure that this is correct. Bug report for that. <laughs> Fabian has it. Alright, what's this? One, zero, one, one. Forty-nine, fifty-two. I know all the bugs. Good times. Bug master. Yeah, I mean it will be absolutely glorious when we get more 14 and all of this will just be like four commands because <laughs> all of this will be able to be stored as data and we'll just be able to copy the strings so that'll be good but uh, I still have to support this version so <laughs> 21, 33. Okay. 111. One, one. Let's go.
55. 58. That's not a 58. <laughs> <laughs> Think it spams too much? I oh, reduced the frequency of that. Men's raft is the fortune teller. Oh god, this switches to the log. It's the same, but with 53 here. All right. Two more. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. 99% of the people here already know where to follow. Yeah, but actually, like, a lot of people, like, jump in and out of Twitch streams. So if, if I, like, if there's one stream where I get a larger following, like, now, now it's just the core people, but if not, then, you know, it, it's a fairly important opportunity to actually get people to, to catch on and follow me everywhere, you know? I get that it's spammy. I could reduce the frequency. I just don't want to have it. Zero? One, two? Really? Oh, yeah, it would be. Or you know what we can do? We can up the limit, the line limit. That's what we can do. So only post it every X lines or whatever. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, they're both on the same time delay and there's no way for me to set an offset. I would love to not have it post immediately after. <laughs> I'm not like entirely sure how to do that though. I can figure something out. No. I'll figure something out for sure. If you'd stop auto-switching to the log, that would be helpful. <laughs> it's probably sent quite a few messages, yeah. Thirty-two messages. No, exactly. That's what I'm feeling. Like, of course, if you're in the chat a lot, it's gonna feel a little bit spammy. But oh, come on. Um. Like, it's important to me the people who drop in and like kind of like a stream. Really. Even if they're not around for that long, they still get informed of where to follow and stuff. Just, uh, I think you also learn to ignore it. The pop-ups are spammy. Yeah, I don't know why it's like updating the log so often. Alright, this is the last one we're doing. Yay! And then after this, we should be able to clone a selected arena. Which won't work, so we'll have to figure out why, but at least it should, in theory. There's 27.
yeah, there are no there are no backlogs. Like there are no uh, no history when you. It asks me on focus, yeah, but I don't know why the log is being updated. It shouldn't be. There should be nothing that spams it at the moment, but whatever. Alright, 53. Uh, this needs to... Wait, 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 wait. I'm doing the wrong one. This be this one. And then one more. Send one message? Yeah, but it becomes a really long message then. So the thing I would really like is if I could set a, like a delay between them so that they're still posted like 15 minutes apart, but like it would delay one of them. So one of them would post like, okay, post it here and then 15 minutes later. Where am I? There. But then the other one would be like in the middle. Less than six hours into your arm with yourself? Yeah, probably mine too. <laughs> Have a good night though. Um... Uh, yeah, this is the last one. Okay. What are these things? And okay, let's kill everything in the arena. Okay, good times. So at the end of this... Oh, this is why we don't get all the things that we're supposed to get. And it was meant for things that like pop off of walls and stuff but I don't think we need that anymore I'm gonna try to take it away because there are entities stored in those arenas that don't show up and that's definitely why now we're gonna reload this thing and watch as it all burns horribly all right so not this um this All right, it's called uh, loop slash load. Ah, line three, position 38. Good times. Line three. Uh, we're missing a run. Yeah, so all of the set blocks need to be replaced with run set block. Did this fix it? What? Oh, I'm searching for the wrong thing. Load slash um, loop slash load. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Uptime has a A cooldown thing. Okay, so if you just do not not an A, we can do teleport myself to the inside of Lime Slice's face. Um, to make sure we're ready on both computers. Do a. Let's get rid of the sign. Alright. Ready, check. I'm totally ready without aiming at the sign. Lime Slice is so ready that didn't work. <laughs> oh, why did that not work? What's our state? States one. So we're still in the ready check. Why? Um, what's supposed to happen? The ready check complete is supposed to run. Is that broken? 
Uh, <laughs> line four. Ready check complete. Lock data. That's the block data. Uh, which is no longer needed. Right, because that was the block data that updated the thing to start. But now we're running that in the command instead. <laughs> I'm Swingsy, to be completely honest, I, I don't really fancy having more places to update it. It's already a fair amount of places to update it. Every time I release a version, there's like a bunch. Okay, ready check pass then by preparing arenas. Cool. Uh, this this didn't quite turn out as I had intended, let's just say. <laughs> Why are these... How would these become empty? How would that even happen? They are cloned. I, I, I would expect them to either not be there or... Or have the contents. Like, how... How? This makes absolutely no sense. I'm going to delete them from one arena, see if it was something that was caused by the thing being broken before we had... Alright. I, I guess we need to double check the structure blocks of the selected arena, so... Oh wait! Oh wait, those need to uh, those need to be namespaced now. Crap! Do I need to change all of those? Oh, they address Minecraft. Crap. Structure file format hasn't, but structure blocks now reside inside of data packs, which means that they now get a, a prefix. Uh, let me just dig this up real quick. Saves. Entrapment. I have like a million entrapment folders here. Data pack, entrapment, data, entrapment. Just contains some functions. Where are the structures? Oh, they're out here. Yeah, because those need to be taken out and cop and moved into data packs, entrapment, data, entrapment structures. Structure files don't necessarily have to be in data packs. What? There are no structures outside of data packs in 113. Okay, what's our selected arena? Tranquility Village. Uh, here. Th these are the ones that should be cloning. Why are these all empty? How did all my structure blocks become empty?
What happens if you save a structure in the world with no data packs? That's a good point. What, the Big Rock Hollows one is the only one that... El Blavalan... Okay. What? Okay, so everything up to floating islands is just... naffed off. This no longer exists. Has no data. Nether Invasion works. Okay. Um, that's gonna be a pain to... That's gonna be a pain to fix. Uh, we are going to, uh, because I, I'm, like, like somebody mentioned, I think it was Fabian who left, because it's getting really late here, yeah, it's, it's like 1am here now, so I'm gonna have to shut this down too, but we're gonna, <laughs> what? Oh, because we're in, uh, uh, <sighs> entrapment, uh, Lobby. Enter lobby. Please. And then we're going to switch to Nether Invasion, which we do know works. And then I'm gonna have to go and get rid of all of these. <laughs> Thanks, Split. Thanks. Um, I'm going to remove all of these, then I'm going to have to do that, which is, uh, I'm going to have to go and, uh, replace Minecraft with Entrapment in the, in the structure of blocks there. And then we should have one working arena. And if that, if we get an arena to to load properly, then I then I consider that a success, and that will leave it at that, and uh, pick it up another time. Uh, so back here we go. Go way over here to Nether Invasion. Switch that to Entrapment. Switch that to entrapment. <laughs> Good times. Twelve structure blocks to update. See a chromatis. I think we've done, like, I feel like we've done a lot of the really tricky bits already. So, it should be good. There's a lot of these kind of grindy tasks. But if this works, then we've taken another, like, major steps. Get back to the lobby. That's selected. So basically, uh, should be able to just do another ready check. All right, immediately when I did that, it worked. It's preparing arenas. Oh. I see things. Woo! Baby, that was a little quick. Alright, is this... Is this right? Is this... Did it, like, piece these together correctly? It's the next question. It looks kind of weird to me, but... I don't know. This is right. This is all right. Command blocks in the map aren't working, but that's fine. Th this is... This is all fine. This line goes up here. Yeah, it would be more broken if it mixed up some of these structure blocks. Is 
Is this the way it is? No, this is... No, this is correct. I don't recognize this little piece. I feel like one of the pieces is wrong. <laughs> Don't even look know how my own arena looks. <laughs> hmm. How does it look in the other arena? Are they the same? They're the same. What? This for sure is not meant to be here. Okay. Is there one? bedrock block in the middle of nether invasion that I've never thought of? Really? I mean, how often do you look up into the middle of this when you play, I guess? There'd never be a chest on top of it because it's the top block. Some blocks of netherrack outside of the arena. That's not a good sign. <laughs> oh, this... This might be just something I counted out at some point. Eh... Uh... Dang. Okay. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna have to do more debugging and stuff on this later, but we made uh, made quite a bit of, of headway. The, the one thing is there might be some mix-up in a couple of the coordinates, but it's it's essentially working fine. It, it looked to me like it was slower loading now in this version. Might be because I was over there and actually looked at the blocks as they came in, but uh, still. A little worrying. Probably actually optimally now. We this arena, this the lobby should move away. And we should load these into like perma-loaded chunks. And then it would be loaded when we teleport instead of before. Because the chunk sending to the to the client is like rubbish. But you know. <laughs> What, what can you do? Um, probably the best thing we can do is, is just uh, in... Um, not in there. In... Here? No, not in Load Arena. In... Countdown. Here, we just increase the time delay before we start the countdown. So we add five seconds by just doing this. Which would be, you know, fine. I guess we can do that. Should probably do that anyway, just to reduce the lag. Let's do that. That's 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 fine. All right, I think we will. Uh, I think we'll call that it. Um, it's been very nice to have you all around. Thank you very much for the bits and the subscriptions and the the comments and the chat and the, all the corrections for all the mistakes I've made and all the helpful shouts outs. It's been really good. 
Uh, I hope we'll get this stuff done <laughs> sooner rather than later. I really want to get to the point where we can do playtests again. Uh, there's so much stuff I want to actually... <laughs> I'm still wearing the helmet! Why am I still wearing... Wait! Oh. Slash clear doesn't clear my helmet? Because I'm in creative mode? Wait. Slash clear doesn't clear the armor slots? It did, it just didn't on the client side. Uh huh. Very interesting. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, that's gonna be it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, very much enjoyable bugs aside. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, I'm gonna sign off. Thank you very much. And uh, I guess all the schedule stuff is done. So the next thing that comes up might be the um, Continuum video on Friday. That might be the case. Anyway, this is gonna be uh, uh, an end roll and then we're gonna roll out to back to a host. See you all laters.